Opposition parties are set to challenge the only government's decision to dissolve the parliament in the Supreme Court on Sunday. Nepal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli had dissolved parliament at midnight and declared a date for elections. The fresh polls are slated to be held in two phases, on the 12th and 19th November this year. As per the latest updates, Prime Minister Oli has called an emergency meet among his party men at 4 p.m. today. Both Nepal opposition led by Sher Bahadur Doba and government led by Oli had staked claims to form the government. However, neither could prove their numbers and hence President Bidia Devi Bandari rejected both the claims. Nepal President Bidia Devi Bandari asked Prime Minister Oli to prove the numbers and form the government by 5 p.m. on Friday. Oli summoned an emergency cabinet meeting at midnight and dissolved the House and declared dates for elections. This is the second time that Prime Minister Oli has dissolved the House. Both the Oli party and opposition alliance had staked to form the government, but the president rejected both the claims realizing the push and pull within both the political alliances, and as both were short on numbers to form the government. Crisis hit Oli government after a faction of 28 lawmakers, led by former Prime Minister Madhav Kumar Nepal, had withdrawn support from their leader. Madhav had previously accused Oli of projecting himself as the sole head of the party and disregarding other senior leaders. Madhav Kumar's faction also walked off during the trust vote held for Oli on May 5th. For more on this uh, development, our correspondent Saloni Murarka sent us this report from Lahan in Nepal. Listen in. With another new development, Nepal politics has taken a major turn. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has once again dissolved the parliament and has announced a fresh election that will be held in two phases. The first on November 12th and the second on the November 19th of this year. Earlier, President Bhandari had called on the members of parliament to form a new government. And uh, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli and the opposition leader, Sher Bahadur Deva, both had forwarded their claims to which uh, President Bhandari said that both of the leaders, they fall short of required provisions and further will not be allowed to form a new government and rejected their claims. Well, uh, this is not the first time that Prime Minister K.P. Sharma only has taken a step like this. Back in December 2020, Prime Minister had dissolved the House and had also announced an election. So exactly, we will have to wait and see if this a November election goes as planned and if Nepal will see a new government in November. Saloni Murarka for Vyond World is One in Lahan, Nepal.